Oh boy, Microsoft, what in the hell are you guys doing? It is so bad right now, and we're one month till the official launch. October 5th is actually official launch for oh, Windows 11, and things are shaping up. Just, eesh, I got some concerns. Let's go over it. Right here's the first concern as of today, uh, or actually it'll probably be yesterday for those watching this. Oh man. This is just crazy. So you pay $200 for an operating system. Microsoft's going to inject ads directly into your taskbar. That's going to break File Explorer. Who is the moron that thought this was a good idea is what I want to know. But anyways, yes. The ad specifically is targeted around the Microsoft Teams app. And if you're on the dev or beta channels of Windows 11, yeah, you're going to have this problem uh, where your entire taskbar in File Explorer just crashes and you can't get it back without going through Task Manager. Here's the actual how-to guide by XDA. I believe you can actually go a Control-Shift-Escape, uh, pull up Task Manager that way. It might be a little bit faster. File, run, and then copy and paste this entire command. This will basically edit the iris service and force it uh, out and then reboot your computer with a shutdown dash R command. Oh boy, that is very, very concerning in so many levels because if it's not even pre-release, this might be something that I never anticipate having. You're, you're paying for your operating system, but you're also getting ads and things that you don't want injected directly on your taskbar. I thought news and interest was bad in Windows 10 when that popped up earlier this year, but man, they're just ratcheting up to a 10 here in Windows 11. But it gets better. <laughs> Not only are they pulling this crap in Windows 11, but you know how I showed people that you can get it on unsanctioned hardware or unsupported hardware. Oh man, this is... Linux people are going to have a heyday with this. Because it's it's bad. It's really bad. So they're kicking people off on these incompatible chips that are working just fine. Uh, but they're kicking people off because, well, they're not on sanctioned chips. The whole justification for this was over the security related to Spectre and, and Meltdown uh, issues we've had over the past six to eight years. They said, hey, the Department of Defense uh, put some clarity over that, and we need to make sure we button down. So Windows 11 is going to be the most secure, and they said because of the CPU security compromises, uh, they're not going to be able to do anything about that. And I'm like, we already have mitigations in OpenBSD, Linux. Windows 10. Uh, I mean, are you just saying that? I mean, do they just not want anybody to use Windows 11? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the trick. It's like that movie, The Producers, where they try and make the worst film possible uh, just so they can claim losses on their taxes or, or something like that, and then people ended up loving it. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to love this beast, though. <laughs> Anywho, going down a little bit further, I'm just like, ugh. You gotta be kidding me. I've, I've read a couple articles. This one right here by Beta News uh, just kind of says, hey, if you're not meeting these requirements, that's why. The only justification I could see was the, the mitigations I just talked about. There was also one other article that uh, kind of theorized that it was something with virtualization, but that didn't really make any sense because you can just disable uh, like many of those virtual virtualization features on older CPUs. So, I don't know. It's a mess. This whole... Windows 11 is such a mess. I am just beside myself with like, oh, I don't want to support it. I just want to tell people, no, no more. Just use Windows 10 or switch to Linux. That's your options. I'm not going to, nope, nope. I'm going home. I can't take it anymore. I'm out. Later. That's the end of the video.